In this video we're going to continue our look at the node red chord nodes by looking at the join node. Now the join node is the opposite of the split node which we looked at in an earlier video. The join node will actually collect uh, different messages and combine them together into a single message whereas the split node took a message and split it into separate messages. And this is the flow I'm going to use to demonstrate the join node. Now we've got a collection of inject nodes here, injecting on sensors, uh, sensor 1, and it's injecting the message on, and this one's injecting the message off, sensor 2, and sensor 3. And they're all going into the join mode, and we've got an output from the join node into the debug node so we can see what's going on. Uh, this change node up here, this change node here we'll be using later when we look at the split node and the join node together. Now the join node is one of the function nodes and it's down here, you can see it here. So again to use it you just grab it and drag it into the workspace. To see what it does you highlight it and look at the info tab and it tells you how it works. And there are two modes to it, there's automatic which works with the split node and we'll look at that later on and manual where you actually tell it how to join the messages together yourself and we're going to look at that first. So let's open it up and see what it does and put it onto manual and what it says here we're going to combine each payload and I've got it here to combine it into a key value object using the topic as the key. Now we could have a string, we could have a buffer, an array and a merged object but I'm going to demonstrate the key value object which is I think the probably the most common uh, one you'll be using. If we go further down here we can combine it after a number of message parts and we'll do that one first. Let's, let's clear that and we'll say three messages. After three messages then we want to send the combined message. So let's have a look and we'll see how that works. And let's deploy it and go on to the debug node and then we're going to inject our messages. So we'll inject sensor 1 on, sensor 2 off and notice nothing's appearing over here. Now sensor 3 will be on and straight away something appears here because we said every three messages. And if we do it again, we set this one to off, off and off and again the message appears here every three messages. Now you might have noticed here that it says and every subsequent message so if we tick this box let's have a look at the effect of that. So if we inject our message here and again sensor 2 on and again sensor 3 on we see our message as before. Now if I turn sensor 1 off you can see straight away a new message appears and sensor 2 off and again a new message appears. So it doesn't wait for the three messages to come in, now it sends it every time another message comes in. Okay, that's one way of combining messages. Now let's remove that and this time we'll do it on a time interval. So we're going to wait five seconds and after five seconds we're going to send the messages. We also need to remove this tick box here and then we're done and we deploy it. So let's just inject our messages very quickly. We're going to go on, on and on and notice nothing's happened yet. And there the message appears after five seconds. And this time we switch them off. And again it appears there after a delay of five seconds. So useful way of combining messages. We wait a, a predetermined time and then we send off the off the message. Now if I only change one you see only one gets sent out. So let's look at what I said earlier. We'll create our chatty sensor. We'll turn this one on every second and we'll turn this one off again every second and we're done 
and then we'll deploy the flow clear the debug node and these are sending messages every second these are chatty sensors but every five seconds the combined message goes out and you can see that over there okay that's two ways of combining messages using the join node now I'm just going to reset these back to normal and I'm going to show you how it works in automatic node with the the split node so what I'm going to do is borrow some nodes from the split node I'm going to copy these here and I just control C to copy them and I'm come back to my join node and I control V to paste them in there join them up into the change node and all this change node is going to do so far is just going to inject a message in there so I can see it's gone through the or it's, I can see it's come from the split node and then I'm going to put them into the, that into the join node so if you remember back to the earlier video when I click on this I trigger an object this function generates the object it goes into the split node and gets split off and sorry split up and then I just pre through the change node to add a message to it and into the join node just before I do that let's just remove that and let's put a debug node up there and just to remind you what it looks like after it's been split up so let's just quickly deploy it clear the debug node trigger the message and you can see the message has been split into th into three separate messages by the split node now one thing about the message over here even though you can't see it um, because I only display the, the payload property it doesn't have a topic property and we'll see that as soon as I put it into the join node so let me remove that and reconnect it into the change node and then into the join node and remember the join node is configured to join and use the topic as the key and we haven't got a topic as I said so let's deploy it clear it and use the trigger and you can see here I'm getting message missing uh, key property message dot topic so now let's go back to the join node and we can fix that very easily by using automatic now automatic it means it's going to use the parts object and remember back to the split node when it actually splits it up it creates a parts object and it contains information about the the message parts and that information can be used by the join node to join them all together so let's go done deploy clear and now we inject again and this time you can see it's created our object okay that's a quick overview of how to use the join node to join message sequences together into a, a combined message and it brings us to the end of the video if you've got comments on the video then please leave them below and if you like the video then you can click the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos to the channel then you can always subscribe and if you'd like to share it on social media then please please do until next time goodbye